10 Safe Exercises During Pregnancy Pregnancy is a wonderful stage when a woman experiences sensations and experiences that can only be enjoyed during the nine months. It is also a period of sensitivity accompanied by many concerns. Unfortunately, there are many myths and obsolete ideas that cause unnecessary anxiety in pregnant women. One of them is referring to the exercises. The good news is, as long as you're not on bed rest and do not have a high-risk pregnancy, an exercise routine is definitely great for you during this time. Before you start, it is advisable to ask your doctor what is safe for you, especially if you had a sedentary life before your pregnancy. Exercising during pregnancy is important to have a healthy pregnancy because of its positive effects on women's health and the growth of the baby. It can help keep you from getting too much extra weight during pregnancy. Some exercises can even strengthen key muscles and get you ready for a more comfortable delivery. Some doctors recommend that women who are pregnant work out for around 30 minutes four days a week. Most workouts can be categorized as cardiovascular, cardio workout, or a strength training workout. Cardiovascular workouts are workouts such as running, walking, or biking, where your heart rate goes up and you start to breathe heavily. Strength training workouts are workouts like weightlifting or resistance machines, where you work your muscles. When starting your exercise program, it's recommended to start slowly, especially if you're not used to exercises. Start with about 10 to 15 minutes of activity, gradually increasing the duration to reach 20 to 30 minutes a day. Be sure to eat well and drink many liquids. Always use comfortable and fresh clothes. You should take into account that the exercise does not cause pain, difficulty breathing, or excessive fatigue. How can you tell if you're exercising? Fitness professionals use the talk test. If you're comfortable having a conversation, then you're working out moderately. If it's hard to say a whole sentence, then you're working out too hard. Being pregnant can change your body in ways you may not be aware of. This may make it hard for pregnant women to do some kinds of exercises. While expecting, a mom-to-be's weight changes. The location of the weight may change also, making the center of balance unpredictable. The joints and muscles in the hip and pelvis region become more flexible during pregnancy to make it easier to give birth. This can make jumping, quick changes of directions, and jerking motions dangerous. While pregnant, your resting heart rate goes up, while your blood pressure goes down. This means sticking to moderate, low-impact moves are best to avoid dizziness and overexertion. Based on the above, here you have 10 workouts that are great for women who are pregnant. 1. Walking Walking is a safe, effective workout for pregnant women. Even if you've not been working out regularly, walking is a great way to exercise when you're pregnant. Walking is gentle on your joints and is unlikely that you'll fall and hurt yourself while walking. While it is a low-impact exercise, it works every muscle group in your body and also gives you a cardio workout. 2. Dancing Dancing is recommended especially for the first trimester of pregnancy. It's a perfect exercise that contributes to the mobility of the whole body as well as fun. Remember to dance with a moderate intensity. Jumping and sudden movements is not the most beneficial for pregnancy since during the first three months, there's a risk of detachment of the placenta. The best dance to practice during pregnancy is the Arab dance because of its low impact and composed of soft steps. 3. Aquafit and Aqua Aerobics Aquafit is essentially an aerobic workout that takes place in the water. Hence, it is gentle on your joints and definitely has a low risk of falling. It is done vertically without swimming because it takes place in the water. Pregnant women stay cool while they're working out. Many aquafit routines alternate cardio intervals with strength training. It's easy to control the pace of your workout when you do aquafit. Aqua aerobics, like aquafit, takes place in the water. Unlike aquafit, it does not include strength training. 4. Swimming Swimming is a sport with more benefits for the body. In the water, the future mother will feel light and relaxed and the swimming will contribute to muscle toning, improve circulation, and help you feel less tired. Swimming can be a little bit more intense than aquafit or aqua aerobics. As long as you make sure to work out at a moderate pace, it is a safe workout for pregnant women. If the gynecologist sees no concerns, the pregnant woman can swim back, crawl, and breaststroke. 5. 
Yoga. Yoga is a low impact activity based on gentle exercises that are ideal for pregnancy. Yoga can strengthen the core and back. It also improves flexibility and can relieve physical and emotional tension. Breathing is used as an instrument of concentration to connect the body and the mind, and other sensations can also be worked on. Contractions, movements of the baby in the uterus, sounds. Some types of yoga, like hot yoga, are not safe for pregnant women. Some yoga poses, like those that require lying on your back, should also be avoided. 6. Pilates like yoga, Pilates is also great during pregnancy because it helps contribute to increased flexibility, fortify and tone muscles, and prevent urinary incontinence. In addition, doing Pilates helps to work and improve the functions of all the structures involved in childbirth. It is a work of body and mind that allows coordination of movements and breathing. It is important to avoid exercises that strengthen the abdomen, as well as squats and intense cardiovascular exercise. 7. Low Impact Aerobics The turns, twists, and jumps involved in high-impact aerobics class can be dangerous on moms-to-be. Instead, consider taking a low-impact class. These classes are safer because you always have at least one foot on the ground. You may even be able to ask your instructor to show you how to modify the moves in your high-impact class to be low-impact. 8. Weight Training it's not a great idea to start a weight training program when you're pregnant, unless you were already lifting weights before your pregnancy. If you are already working out with weights, there are health benefits to moderate training with light weights and equipment. It can help your body to deal with the extra baby weight by building muscle, which will help you balance. Make sure to keep breathing if you're a mom-to-be. Lying on your back is not recommended, so avoid moves that require that position. Also, remember to keep your effort moderate. 9. Cycling If you want to ride a bicycle, you should do it with caution. If you're an expert cyclist, you could continue to do it without a problem in the first trimester. Some experts believe it's dangerous to ride a bicycle in the second and third trimesters of pregnancy because as you gain baby weight, your center of balance will change, and this could put you at risk for falls. It's a good idea to switch to a stationary bike as your pregnancy progresses. 10. Running if you were a runner before you got pregnant, moderate running is okay for women who are expecting. Your doctor may advise you to shorten your running time and run less often. Pregnancy is not a good time to start running. If you do run while pregnant, make sure to maintain a moderate pace. Words of caution. There are some things that are extremely risky for pregnant women. Heavy weight training is not safe for pregnant women. Holding your breath is also not safe. Lying flat on your back or on your stomach is not recommended after the first trimester of pregnancy. Abdominal exercises may be difficult and uncomfortable as your stomach expands. Running may feel cumbersome as your baby weight changes your center of balance. Any contact sport like basketball, gymnastics, or soccer can be risky. Basically, if a sport is dangerous for people who aren't pregnant, it probably isn't appropriate for someone who is. Remember, when you want to start to exercise, make sure you call your doctor and discuss what may be safe for you. Once she gives you the go-ahead, have fun working out. Any other exercise that can be safe to do during